but can you have a single step between landings? Has anyone seen this sort of construction? Yes? Yeah, there are apparently a lot of these in Canberra getting up, but not many in other parts of Australia. Is this construction okay? Can you have a single step between the landings? Now, this question came to us in the context of Volume 2, a detached house. So we'll look at this for Volume 2, but there's similar provisions in Volume 1. Um, so keep in mind that volume, some of this is relevant to Volume 1. <clears throat> but we'll look at it at Volume 2. 3.9.1 is the deemed to satisfy provision we're looking at. Uh, contains requirements for dimensions and features of stairways and ramps. And all in all, we're about ensuring that stairs are safe and, we're all, and, and that most users are not fatigued when they're using them. And these, rely, these come straight back to performance requirement P2.5.1. So we have to ask the question, is there anything which prevents this step in the deemed to satisfy provisions? Or even is there anything that regulates how high or short or anything, anything that regulates this step in the deemed to satisfy provisions? There's a few things to note when we're considering this question. And, and some people have accepted it, so we've got some yeses. I wonder if there's any no's in the room. We've got a no in the room. We've got a no. Some no's and, a, and some yeses, a bit of a scattering. And, and once again, the rest of us are going, I've got to wait for this guy at the front and see what he says. Because I'm too nervous to get it wrong. Don't want to, you know, I might have clients in the room, gosh. Um, how are we going to attack this? We're going to think about a few things and apply the deemed satisfied provisions. The first thing we're going to note is that it's not a flight. Because a flight, it's a defined term, and that's part of a stair that has continuous series of rises. Now, I don't watch much TV, but, but Neighbours. Neighbours is a series because there's more than one show, right? You get a documentary, that's not a series. It might be, uh, if there's more than one. But to have a series, you have to have more than one. We're talking about a single step all on its own. It's not a flight. There's a few other defined terms in there also about flight, but um, one to note is that it is not a, that, 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 it, that alone it is not a flight because of the word series. A number of things, events, etc., such as our television shows or our rises. A riser by itself is not a flight. So with this understanding, we turn to the acceptable construction practice in 3.9.1, and we're looking for any relevant provisions, anything which regulates, prevents, regulates this particular step. And the first thing we note is that a, gra a landing cannot have a gradient steeper than 1 in 50. And you might say, yeah, Graham, that's OK. I've got this really good spirit level. It's digital, and you know, I can put on the surface, and it even tells me you know, 1 in 50 if it's less or more. Um, I put that on that surface, it's flat, Graham. It's fine. But you have to have a pretty good spirit level, because you have to measure from here to here from where it commences to the start. If we're going to call this construction in its entirety a landing, we're measuring our gradient from that point to that point. Yeah. It's, it's not flat, is it? That's far more than 1 in 50. It is not a flat surface if we are trying to consider this all a landing. So the, what we're noting there is that entire construction is not a landing. So if that entire construction between the two flights, because they have more than one riser, now, if that entire construction is not a landing, what is it? Well, two landings. That's an excellent answer. We've actually had somebody say, and I can't disagree, it could be a pair of winders if it's turning the stair around. A pair of winders are turning the stair. If you, if you call it that, that's fine. But remember, if we call that a winder and that a winder, then we must, can't get over our 18 over the entire flight because suddenly this is part of the flight and we'll have to have our consistent riser dimension also. So it could be a pair of winders, or it could be, as you say, very correctly, a pair of landings. Because once we do our measurements in accordance with 3715, we come in 500. It's at least 750 millimetres long. That's fine. Um, we have a pair of landings. If we have a pair of landings, now the next question is, does the BCA regulate that particular step? Trip hazard, yeah, it's a trip hazard, something to consider. Does the BCA regulate that step? Yes or no? No, I've got a no, I've got a yes. I've got someone that wants to describe something. I'll, bear with me, sir. I say yes. 
because that, that riser is within a stairway. And so our 115 to 190 would apply. Now note that the, um, the adjacent flights, they have to have consistent riser heights. This one is not a part of a flight, therefore it can be a different riser height to the adjacent flights, um, but within that 115 to 190. I do recommend that you make it consistent the whole way through if you have to really do and do that construction, but the, the answer is yes, you can have that single step in the landing. Um, you can have that single step in the landing, and yes, we do regulate that height 